Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, global version of the game, main difference from Korean version of the game, what it will be. Actually, I know answer to that question because we have get official information from NCSoft regarding this topic. That was during a meetup event just a few days ago. Uh, one of the people over there during that, uh, let's say, live part of the interview, they have asked developers of the game, what will be the difference between global version of the game and Korean version of the game? Very important question. And for this evening, I have answer for you officially from NCSoft and I will explain what this actually means. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty. You can see here release date, September 17, 2024. Yes, full global release of the game. Not only that, we are getting open beta test on July 18. Fully open beta, you don't need to pay anything. Everybody can participate on three different platforms. PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox. So, we have yet uh, this uh, big announcement from Amazon Games in the previous week, right? Everybody have started to ask the same question. What will be the difference between global version of the game and Korean version of the game? I have seen in the last few months, many people on different kind of social media all the time were talking about how will Amazon Games change the game? Big changes coming regarding monetization, pay to win or something else, I don't know what, for global version of the game. Seriously? Come on. No, guys, that will not happen. So what is happening here? Let me first read to you this sentence. So one of the developers during meetup event on Korea, right, in Korea a few days ago, uh, that was the question, what will be the difference? They have replied this. Global version of the game will be updated on quality of life content, same as Korean. Korean version of the game. So global version of the game will be behind Korea only regarding content, but same regarding monetization, totally the same, it will remain the same. So regarding business model, Lucent, Battle Pass, uh, Blessing of Solisium, Pay to Win, no difference. Absolutely no difference, right? Game will be free to play with Pay to Win, like we have in Korea. I will not talk now about pay to win. If you are watching my YouTube channel, then you know that Throne and Liberty, yes, it's a pay to win game. However, it's a mild pay to win. It's a mild pay to win. Let's compare with Lost Ark, for example. Uh, let's say if you have ever played Lost Ark, it's less pay to win than Lost Ark. If Lost Ark, let's say from one to 10, Lost Ark would be, let's say six, then Throne and Liberty would be four. Let's say it on that way. Anyway. Pay to win remains, free to play remains, battle pass remains. What will be the difference? Content. So that means that Korea will be always, maybe not always, but at least for start, little bit in front regarding the content of the game. New region, new level cap, new dungeons, etc. Right? Which we will eventually get in global version of the game. Maybe after a few weeks, maybe after a few months, right? But we will get it. However, regarding monetization, everything the same. And also another thing which we will have immediately, quality of life. Quality of life features from Korea will be looks like at least like that immediately in global version of the game, right? Which is amazing, which is amazing. We need those quality of life things, features, right? Which they have changed a lot recently. Check some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel from previous week where I talk in details regarding different kind of changes coming to the game, regarding content, new level cap 55, new dungeons, life skills, fishing, cooking, amitoy farming, regarding dungeons on 30 levels of difficulty, regarding different kind of improvements, new in-game systems, gemstone, gemstones, artifact system. Check dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding all of these new in-game features, quality of life changes. In the previous week, I'm not going to that now, just to let you know, for this part of live stream, we are now currently during live stream, but I will use this part of the live stream for the video because I can see many people asking the same question and making totally wrong assumptions. Everybody is assuming, I don't know why, I don't know why they think that, because you need to understand something. Everybody is assuming that Amazon Games will make some crucial changes to the game. You're forgetting one thing. 
Amazon games are only publisher of this game. Main boss are developers, and that is Antisoft. Yes, publisher of the game, they can suggest, they can suggest changes. But who is deciding? Antisoft. And Antisoft did decide. Regarding monetization, pay to win business model, you can see here from this sentence, everything will be exactly the same like in Korea, which is good, which is good because pay to win is there, like I said, I will not lie to you, Throne and Liberty is a pay to win game, but it's mild pay to win. So we are good. Why are we good? Because this game is incredible. This game is absolutely incredible. It's a triple A quality MMORPG game, which we are getting once like every 10 years. Not joking even here. Maybe next time Ashes of Creation. Maybe Chrono Odyssey. Maybe Ion 2. Another game from NCSoft. Maybe Arcage 2. Probably not. But maybe Ashes of Creation will be next game like on this level of quality. Chrono Odyssey just maybe. But what I'm trying to tell you. Regarding pay to win. Regarding monetization. Everything remains the same, right? You can see here what is good. Quality of life changes will have. A quality of life changes will have immediately. Looks at least like that for global release of the game. And we are going to be behind Korea. Difference, right? Behind Korea. Maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months. Different patches. Few patches probably, right? Uh, only regarding content. Only regarding content. On one way, that is actually really good. Why? Because NCSoft, developers of this game, they can test new content, new in-game features. First on servers in Korea. They can fix it when they see something is wrong, right? They can adjust different things. And when they make it perfect, they can give it to us in global version of the game. It's actually a good idea that they have first that content over there in Korea and then give us, uh, give us uh, that content in global version of the game so they can fix it, that we get perfect, adjusted, right, version of the game, new patch note. It would be terrible actually to give new content at the same time in Korea and globally. That wouldn't be good for the game because there might be some issues with new patch. On this way, they can react fix the issues, and then after they fix issues, like some kind of, let's say, PTR server, of course, that Korean servers are real, they are not PTR servers or open beta, but on one way, there will be testing ground, there will be PTR servers, public test realm servers, where they can check a new update, new content, when they fix it, check it, give it to us globally. Perfect. So this is actually a really good uh, idea from developers of this game. And uh, I think now you have clearly explained no more speculations, no more guessing. Global version of the game will be exactly the same like Korean version of the game, especially regarding monetization and quality of life features. Regarding the content, it will be a little bit late behind Korea, which is nothing strange. I can tell you another example here from another game from NCSoft, which is Ion and Ion Classic. I'm Ion veteran player. I can give you an example that in Ion, regarding Ion IP, we are always a little bit late here in the West, like maybe a few months, like few patches after Korea regarding patches. So first they get big patch, big update, big, big update, new region, new level cap regarding Ion. I'm talking right now, just giving example, another game from NCSoft, also MMORPG. They are getting first update in Korea. Then after a few months, right, they fix it, they're a little bit adjusted. We are getting the same update, of course, adjusted for global version of the game, but basically exactly the same update on servers in North America and Europe. That will also happen in the future, I have no doubt, with Throne and Liberty, and it's actually a good idea regarding everything. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, now you clearly know what will look like global version of the game versus Korean version of the game. Quality of life, monetization, pay to win, same. Content, we are going to be a little bit behind. And this is very good solution. I can explain why. Pay to win is mild. Don't care about pay to win. Don't worry about that. No problem. Game is extraordinary. And regarding everything else, we are good. Business model remains free to play, right? Quality of life features we are getting. That's amazing. We need that, right? And the uh, content we are going to get. Whatever you can see on servers in Korea is happening. New dungeons, new level cap, new region, new weapons in the future. We are getting it in global version of the game, maybe a few months after. That is now clearly explained. And also, just to let you know, check my YouTube channel here. I have about 300 videos already regarding Throne and Liberty. And I'm preparing lots of new videos 
for global release of this game and for open beta. You will see guides for new players, news, updates from World of Throne and Liberty, everything what is happening regarding Korean version of the game, which is very important because like I said, whatever you can see in Korean version of the game, you'll be able to get one day in the future in the global version of the game. And also for global release of this title, you will see lots of different kind of news, uh, videos, guides for new players so make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me on twitch i'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m central european time i'm playing this game on servers in korea since december 7 2023 every day without any missing right so join me on twitch if you have any kind of questions regarding the game i'll be glad to answer and also to keep you updated regarding everything what is happening in world of throne and liberty thank you for watching the video subscribe to my youtube channel Follow me on Twitch and see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video. Now you clearly know, right, regarding global version of the game and Korean version of the game, what will happen is the same, is the same. Everything is the same, just we are, we are going to be a little bit late in content. See you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.